Well, we're just getting back from from a film shoot. We just finished a. Uh, I tried to get a film shoot today, but it was cold. It was really cold. Uh, we've been lucky the past few days to get some really nice fish on shrimp. You know, some of the lakes have been fishing really good. Again, exceptionally cold for this time of year, but still really good fishing. Well, today we went to a trophy lake, and we got a few fish. But man, it was tough. We were numb. It was tough fishing, high wind, so real tough day. So I just want to put a little uh, compilation together for everybody just on the fish we had so you can see what it was like. And we had, we threw everything at them, man. We just threw shrimp and blobs and snakes and everything at them, but they weren't eating much. But here's what we got anyway, so enjoy. <laughs> Brookie. Little Brookie? Yeah, oh, Is it's that? nice. Brookie. Oh, yeah, nice. Right. We saw a couple bigger ones when we came in here. Right. I'll bring a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Over here. Out of the sun. Now, I saw Brian monkeying around over there, trying to fly on. <laughs> on the uh, axis. So we're gonna see what the heck. It looked like some sort of tequila, <laughs> but I'd like no. to see what it is. You know, oh. it's an ice brook trout. It is a nice. Oh, is it out? No. Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> oh, reliable. Oh, just straight. Okay, I thought you had a little oh, white no. tail out there. No, that. I didn't. I started with this one first. Oh, I saw. <laughs> the mop tail? Not yeah, yet. it's I coming. The, it's coming. <laughs> the old reliable. Oh, okay. I saw it there when he had grabbed it. I'll just hold him up. It's a nice brookie. Get him in the sun. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. Beautiful brook trout. Yeah. Cold water. <laughs> they ate the tequila. Yeah. Well, they've been pulling on the anaconda, yeah. but that long tail, they're just not, uh, they're not getting hooked. So, so you know, we probably should be tying some tequila with rabbit strip tails. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> not too long, though, because they'll... Short. Yeah. Short. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I thought I saw in your box. That's what I thought. Oh, oh, oh I'm in the world of possibilities. The world of possibilities. Look at another yeah. fish rose way oh, down there. Yeah, they're definitely around in here. They're in shallow. They're in the weeds. Yeah. Big back on him. Fat. Fat. Oh, he's a, he's a tank. Oh. Oh. oh, got him. Okay, I'll take him over the other <laughs> side, right? That's the biggest brookie I've caught this year. That's a beauty. <laughs> Look how fat he is. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Oh. Oh, reliable. Tequila. It's booby days. They like that booby in here. Wow. That's a chunk. That is a chunk. That's a chunk. You're not going to be able to get your hand around him, Bry. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. No. Thickness on that. These brookies are, they're a little slippery. All right. There we go. That's a nice brookie. Oh. 
that the sun didn't come out. Oh, guess we should have pumped him, but I bet he's full of shrimp. <laughs> Orange and yellow ones. <laughs> Orange and yellow, <laughs> full of tequilas. On tequila. Yeah. Well, that's what I got that giant guy on in here last time. Yeah, he was, yeah I think I was able to. Now he's digging in the weeds, Brian. We finally got him moving in the in the shallows for the shrimp. Yeah. Oh, oh I just saw him nice. broadside. Yeah. Oh, and I can't get him out of the weeds. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a big fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's man. a good one. Oh, and the little shrimp. A little shrimp's a winner. We tied this on other shows. It's, uh, oh, that is a healthy, healthy fish. Wow, he's just. Oh, it almost looks like a rainbow. It's a big bow. Big it's a rainbow. Real, big rainbow, yeah. Real big Skinny rainbow. Skinny water shrimp rainbow. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I can get this guy in. He's big. He's real big. Feels looks like in that six plus range, Brian. Yeah. Oh man. Holy cow. Oh no, he's got that weed. It's tough to get him through the weeds. Gee. Oh. There's some girth oh, there, Don. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's heavy. You know, in the cast before, I lost another heavy one. Yeah. So I knew they were there. Yeah. We were going to move, but no way. It was <laughs> it's too good. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. 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 Looks like a beautiful panask. There you oh. go. Oh. Oh. oh beautiful nice. panask. Beautiful panask. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at where the shrimp is, too. Wow. He is ready. Okay. Oh, look at that one last look. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, Gone. Oh. On the little shrimp. Just starting, you know, it's about noon. We've had a real quiet morning with just small fish. Nice brookies. Brian got that beautiful brookie. Dale's got some brookies. Our first big rainbow. So looking for a good afternoon. Way to go. Oh, nice little panask. Job. I think we figured it out, Brian. We've had some fish boil around us, and they weren't hitting it on top because we were bringing our shrimp in real quick. Well, all it is, let it sink. I let, did a five, six count, even a 10, got it yeah. down deep, and then two casts in a row, two smaller fish, yeah. but nice fish. This guy here. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, just deeper. Exact same fly and everything else. And yet we're still seeing them on top. So well, ideal they setup. Wanted. Yeah, ideal setup. You know, I've got a I've got a ten foot rod, uh, five weight, small reel, three weight. You know, that's a type three, right? In that ideal for that six foot range that we're fishing. Well, let's see another small guy, but you know those those big guys are out there. And right on the tip, we can always get them. It's almost like a coronamid take the shrimp, yeah. right on top. Oh. One of there. Right in the top lip. Come on. Oh, right in the top lip. That's a tough spot. There. Oh, gee, there he is. The little, the little scut. He's a lot. Another little guy, but nice panask. There. There he is there. Beauty. There he goes. All right, well, we know there are bigger ones out there. We're going to let it sink. Do you think we should shift the boat a bit? Yep. Yeah. And a little bit deeper, eh? We got, we got to get over onto that where she drops off yeah. a little bit deeper. That's what I'm getting. Because you're casting there. Yeah. Oh, that way. Okay. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that video. You know, it was a tough day. 
as I mentioned before, we start off and it was actually kind of clear, cold. It was only about minus two when we got up there. We had some fish moving. Brian got some nice brook trout, but they're really just moving here and there in shallow water. Nothing out, nothing out deeper, just always in the shallow. And, you know, it shut down for about three hours later in the afternoon. The wind came up. We got a few more. As you saw, I got a nice bowl, a couple others, and it lasted about 15 minutes, and that was it. The bite was on real short, and that's what happened. So when you go out there, don't get discouraged. A lot of times, you know, things will happen. Uh, the bite will come on. It'll go off. you got to try different things, and again, we threw everything at them, but it's the way it goes. Remember, though. Our new series is on our member site right now, Series 25, so you can go there, become a member, and watch it. And also, all our older stuff is on YouTube. You're probably watching this on YouTube, and more videos coming your way. So anyways, take care, Consumer Waters, and we'll see you next time we take support fishing on the fly, COVID style. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes, and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.